Hi everyone, Pastor Dave here from Real Life Church in Gosnells. Welcome to this episode of Rejuvenate. And I've got a verse of encouragement for you from the book of Jeremiah. Now, if you've noticed over the last couple of days, I've been smiling a lot um, while we've been doing Rejuvenate. It's just simply because I've got my family over from Melbourne. Very happy about that. And we've got our, our grandkids with us at the moment. So um, I'm feeling quite rejuvenated just by having my grandkids around. So I'm just delighted. But I'm delighted too that I'm able to share the word of God with you. And I've got a verse today from the wonderful book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was known is known as the weeping prophet because during his time, Jerusalem was destroyed. And so he wrote two books in the Bible, the book of Jeremiah. And tomorrow we're going to look at the book of Lamentations. But I got a great verse, an iconic verse. Most of you have heard it before. Some of you probably have got it as a plaque um, on the wall somewhere in your house, perhaps. But here we go. And of course, I've been reading from the NLT version. And so Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And so it says this, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you. There you go. Already you know what he's going to say. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a and a hope. And I just want to encourage you today. I don't know about your past. I don't know anything about that. But let me tell you, God, God's got good plans for you. He wants the best for you. God's for you. He's not against you. He's not your enemy. He's reaching out to you and he, he just wants to bless you and pour his favor out upon your life. So just remember that, that God has got good plans for you in Jesus' name. And you know, and bad things sometimes do come our way but God is just so clever that somehow he's able to take um, good out of bad he's able to turn the table on the devil and bring good things our way so I just want to encourage you let faith rise up that no matter what you're facing today God is for you he's not against you if there's problems in your life don't blame God for it that's this fallen world that we live in that's Satan himself but you stand upon God's word today that he's got a call upon you he's got a plan to bless your life and to bless your family in Jesus name. Amen. Father, I thank for all the listeners to rejuvenate. I just pray they have a wonderful day. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're for us. For us, You're not against us. I thank you. You've got plans to bless us. Lord, you've given us a hope and a future. And we thank you for that today in Jesus name. Amen. Have the best day ever. God bless you. Bye. See you tomorrow.